three, two, one. Yeah. Sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have just finished watching Dragon Ball Daima episode four, and the adventure continues. The world building keeps getting bigger, and we got introduced to a brand new character. Yes, sir. Hey, Amen. We say it all the time. What a time to be an anime fan. But in this case, what a time to be a subscriber of this channel as well as a member of this Patreon. If you haven't already, head over to the Patreon and you can watch the full reaction to Dragon Ball Daima with us. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But this episode, you know, it really highlighted how this this season, especially and just Dragon Ball Daima as a whole is going to be a lot more about the journey itself than anything else. Like the combat's still obviously going to be there. We saw it in this episode and the last one, like it's going to be there for sure. But the journey's the important part, the world building, they're actually expanding on it. And I really like that aspect. Hell yeah. Like it's actually pretty tough, especially when you want to do hone in on the martial art, like key in on that word. We did say it during the episode, just to say it again, the f it's kind of refreshing not watching Goku, like, blitz shit and spank niggas the way he's really capable of. And considering where he's headed to go get that Dragon Ball, he probably will soon. But at least for now, the way how he's fighting against these fodder, it kind of really highlights how skillful he really is with the hands. Hell yeah, especially, I mean, just seeing Power Pole Goku again is always refreshing to see. But just the way that they're making it look, the, the animation in the fights is all amazing because it's really showcasing every little detail that Goku's doing in each of these fights. Even though he's only fighting fodder, it's nice to see the actual skill gap. Like, how much of an amazing martial artist Goku is despite being nerfed all the way down to a little kid. So... It's definitely interesting every time we get to see him rock. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But all in all, this was a pretty chill episode. Not much really happened. It was really a story progressing episode. If anything, they just covered a lot of ground towards their goal while adding a new audible to their goal. Rather than going straight to go rescue Dende, they're about to make a curve and go to go after the Dragon Ball because it'll help them get their body back as well as rescue Dende. But aside from that, not much really happened in this episode. Yet, it's still drag mode, so it felt good because the characters make it feel good. So if you had to rate this episode, how would you rate it? I'm going to give this episode, I'm going to give it a 9. Like, this episode and really this whole season, I'm really... You know, we always say four episodes in, you can really judge what an anime is going to be. And that's where I come to the conclusion that it's going to be more about the journey than anything when it comes to Daima. At least until we get to the nitty gritty, like real plot points. Most of yeah. it's going to be journey based. And I, I actually kind of like it because usually Dragon Ball is so high paced and actiony. Like journeys like this are far in between when it comes to Dragon Ball, at least when it comes to, like, super and recent Dragon Ball. So it's nice kind of getting back to the roots of it and just seeing... This is, like, it was a chill episode. It was a nice watch. So in that in that regard, it was amazing. And then, of course, seeing Goku rock out, I mean, that's always a plus. And we got introduced to a new character. The, the lore and the layout of the demon world is starting to make a little more sense. And... Now we have an audible to our goal that I actually kind of like. So I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. Hell yeah. I'm right there with you. I'll give it like a... i give it an 8.9 out of 10. Like, this was a pretty chill episode. Now, again, not much really happened, but it was still Goku showing out, which was always special to see, as well as great world building. You know, we're getting to see more lore into the third world world as well as the different villages so that's always nice to see so i will give this episode an 8.9 hell yeah man. hey man 
If you enjoyed this episode as much as we did, make sure you hit that like button, hit the big red subscribe button if you haven't already, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss episode 5 of Dragon Ball Diamond or any of our other special videos. We drop straight bangers on this channel, so make sure you guys tap in with us. With that being said, make sure you guys click our description. There will be three links waiting for you. The first one will take you to all of our socials, Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The second one will take you to our Discord you feel me? Come on in. Come on in. You know what I'm saying? Join that Discord. Come vibe out with us. Talk about anything. Anime, not anime. Sports, movies, it don't matter. And last but certainly not least, the link to our Patreon will be in the description. Make sure you guys join that. You can become a member for free and watch the full-length reaction to Dragon Ball Daima Episode 4, as well as everything else we put on the channel and some Patreon exclusives. So make sure you guys check that out. But, uh... Yeah, man. With that being said, that's OT out.